Hiya, yeah, this is my first ever YouTube video and I thought I would share it with you all because I have a huge Jane Devonport haul. I've never used Jane's products before so this is completely new to me but I'm super excited so let's give it a go. So I bought all of the squid ink colours that she currently has or I think that's what she has, I'm a little bit late to the game so maybe there's more or more to come but these are the colours, so you've got metallic gold, which is really pretty. Uh, metallic silver, again, really nice. And I think what you do is you ink the pad yourself from what I've seen others do. So, but we'll open these in another video and then I'll show you exactly what they're like. So we have got hybrid inks. I think these are waterproof, um, sun-kissed, sandy toes. Suntan, Cave Black, I love these names, C, oh I can't even say that one, Anemone, not quite sure but that's a really nice lilac. We have also got Scallop Shell, it's a really nice pink. We have Sunburnt, again, Blue Marlin, Beluga White, and we have Mermaid Eyes, which is gorgeous. I love that one. And I think the idea when they're not in their packages is that they all stack up on your desk and that you can actually read which names they are. So that's really useful. Then I also bought oh, all of these. So I bought the Batten Blenders. Um, I got the blendable sponge set, I can get four, and I think they've all got different densities. Um, yeah, one's got, they've got nice points to them as well for, so that's good. I got the brush cleaner, you need to look after your brushes of course. And I also got both sets, so this is the magnetised set, so this is quite heavy actually. So this is the one that you can store your brushes in and you can hang them upside down so they can dry effectively. So this looks really fun and they're really pretty patterned so they've got all little shells on them. And it's really weighty that one. And then look at these. These just like makeup brushes. They are beautiful. So beautiful. So I can't wait to get these out. And what we'll do is we'll get them all out together in another video. Then I went for The smooth markers. I went for both sets. I've got alcohol markers, but look at the colours. These are great for skin tones. I mean, you can probably get oh, endless amounts, to be fair. Really pretty colours in there. And look at these. These are definitely mermaid colours, I have to say. Lots of pretty blues and some real good green. Love the pink and the lilac, but that blue favourite. Then we went for some of the pan pastels. So I've got both sets and they've both got little impressions in them of it looks like a mermaid's tail perhaps, really pretty. So these should be fun. You have to bear with me, I've got a horrible cold. Then I've got both sets of the dream sticks so if I flip them over you can see what the colours are like so this looks like calls and this is probably a warm set I would imagine not used any of these yet so again we'll get them out and then we'll do a swatches on them all really pretty pretty tins then I got the matchmaker set so the idea with this is, is that you use it like a foundation, so you can highlight, even add darker tones. So I think the possibilities for getting skin tones out of these are probably really high. I would not like to guess how many skin tones you could probably make out of this. Again, we'll get them all out soon. Ta-da! So these are water-soluble crowns, and I mean, look at the colours. So I've got the skin colour set, and obviously the brights. So I think these would make really good backgrounds and I believe you can actually draw with these. So 
so again we'll get these out and we'll swatch them all together I also went for all of the packs so these are the pan pastels that I've seen Jane using online for her making faces collection so you've got this one which has got looks like glitter and stuff in I don't know if you can see that but again we'll get them out we've got this one which is the cool set we've got birthday suit which I think is like skin tones and stuff and then this one is lit up which is a lot probably warm tones they're quite bright as well so these look like fun let's move them out of the way then I got the pens that everyone's been raving about so I've got aphrodisiac and I think these are all permanently or water based or water, um, permanent I don't think they smudge with water the license to quill pen this looks like fun and I also got it in suede daisy dukes matte black and then I got the ultimate pens in the silver which has got glitter in and again in the gold so they look fun and the last one is thriller jacket so hopefully we'll pen test these out but I've seen really good reviews on these so I'm quite excited about them sweep them out of the way then I went for these I've never seen anything like this before so of course I bought the full set because why would you not so let's get these out and I mean some of these colours are amazing so these are like a velvet pastel they look like lip glosses which is obviously amazing but some of these colours I mean amazing I think people use these on the lips they use them in the eyes they use them as backgrounds so I don't really think there's much they or you wouldn't use them for I should say so they look like fun so again we'll swatch those out together and then what else did I get I've got a couple of the stamp sets because I love flowers there's some quotes there really nice quotes in that one friendship one this is gorgeous I have to say this is one of my favorites and obviously this one again because of the flowers I also got a couple of the dies not all of them unfortunately but I got you are unique because I like the stars you also get little hearts too um, ta-da who doesn't want a ta-da and I couldn't resist this one this is the sea flowers I've seen lots of people do really cool stuff with these even in hairs or as background pieces but really really pretty and then I also got the foundation set for the stenciling this one you get a neck piece two accessories some hair the face shape itself eyes nose and lips and also obviously different eyebrows and you even get a free canvas board with this one so that looks fun then the other stencils I got was the Good Face Stencil and I think this one's called Flower Girl so if I flip it over the back yeah so you get three figure heads with this one and one two three and one two three four flowers with this one and this one it is three faces looking at different ways by the looks of it but again these clip into Jane's storage binder I believe so which can store them nice and then I also got the making faces pad I think you get four of each image it looks like it but this is meant to be really good good quality paper and again I've got the not quite a blank slate I've only seen one person use these but you get quite a few images in I mean look at that this looks like fun and again I think the quality of the paper works well with this release and the storage bag everyone needs a storage bag so. let's see if I can open this 
so this has I can open it up bear with me so it opens completely flat which is great and you've got two bags which I believe are very similar in size and it's got Jane's artwork on which is gorgeous and we've also got like a skinny pencil case but it actually opens quite wide so in all fairness you could probably get quite a lot in there you probably store the pens and maybe the pan pastels in there no, or in one of these probably but it's nice that it lays flat and it opens all the way around which is obviously incredibly handy but there's that and then the last items I've got in this one is Jane's paper pad lots of different background pieces you can take these out and tip them into your journals you can paint over them put inks on them so those look like fun these would be good for card backgrounds and all if you're making any cards these actually i think she's got these in tissue paper as well like collage papers so that's something else to look at so that's that there's 48 sheets of that and then i got the washi paper so these are sheets of washi and I think you get four in each, so you get four in a set, two of each. And you can either stick them down as a whole or cut them up, cut bits of them up. So these look like fun. And they also do a mermaid set. So two lots. I think these images are on her die cutting machine if I'm not wrong. So these look like fun. Again, you can use the whole sheet. Or you can just use segments of it, but you get four of those. So, that's it for my mammoth haul. And again, I apologise, it's my first video, so hopefully they will get better and my throat will get better. And I guess next time I'll be swatching them all out with you. Thank you very much. Bye.